You know, it seems every Christmas that. Hello? Ho, ho, ho! It's me, Santa Claus! Ah, cool. Uh, wait, how did you get this number? Someone posted your personal info in the comment sections of your ketchup chips video. Anyway, uh, what are you calling for? Well, when people leave cookies out for me, it's the same lame-ass, mass-produced, store-bought crap. And I want something different. Something homemade! Well, I have ju- This isn't chocolate chip. Don't worry, I also have- Or it's sugar cookies. Well- Or those awful tasting no-bake vegan cookies. <laughs> Half of Portland is on the naughty list because of it. Hmm. Oh, I got it. White chocolate candy cane cookies. You got creamy white chocolate, the crunchy mintiness of candy canes. It's a weird combination, but trust me, it really goes well. Oh, oh wonderful! Um, one question. What's in it for me? When I stop off in Japan, I'll convince Miyamoto to make Super Grand Theft Mario for you! Deal. Now to make Santa's yummy breath mint, bust out the stand mixer with the paddle attachment, crack in two eggs, beat them until they're nice and combined. Okay, drop the speed to its slowest setting. Then add in one and a half cups of sugar. Then add one cup of melted unsalted butter. Okay, once the butter's been incorporated, add in one teaspoon of vanilla. Half a teaspoon of salt. One teaspoon of baking powder, preferably aluminum free. Two and a half cups of all-purpose flour. Okay, once the flour is incorporated, turn off the mixer and scrape down the sides of the bowl. Mmm. Best salmonella poisoning ever. Okay, put the mixer back on to low. Then let's add eight ounces or one cup-ish of white chocolate chips. And finally add half a cup of candy canes crushed. Uh, yeah, these aren't actually it. They'll show up in the next footage. Turn the speed to high. And slowly lift up the paddle, cover our dough in saran wrap, and refrigerate it for one hour. <laughs> Hello? Hey, do you want them done fast or do you want them done right? Yeah, that's what I thought. Pagans. Santa, Santa, Santa has his jolly little eyes on me. Now then, first thing you gotta do, preheat the oven to 350 degrees. Is Russia threatening to invade your country and you replied with this meme? And yes, this actually happened. The number you're looking for is 175 degrees Celsius. So, all right, it's been an hour. Our dough is nice and chilled. That means it can go on to a parchment lined baking sheet. And yes, it kind of goes off the edge. That's intentional. I'll show you why later. Anyway, grab yourself a disher. That's about eh, two to three tablespoons in size. Grab a scoop of our cookie dough. And place it onto our baking sheet. Oh, this is important. Make sure there's an inch of space between each cookie. All right, place our cookies in the middle of our 350 degree oven. 
and let them bake for 15 to 20 minutes. This Christmas feels like the very first Christmas to me. Okay, after 15 or so minutes, remove our cookies from the oven. And, and here's where the extra piece of parchment comes in. Boom. Want to see me do it again? Boom. Oh, while these are cooling, I should explain why we're doing this method. If you still, if you continue to let them cool on the still hot baking tray, they're going to become crunchy and overcooked. And Santa is going to put me on the naughty list. Uh, so yeah, let these cool. Okay, Santa, I got a plate of these cookies and they have your name on it. Wonderful. One question. Out of all the YouTube chefs, why me? Why not someone like, I don't know, Joshua Weissman? Because his last name is Weissman. Oh, oh okay, okay, yeah, that makes sense. This has been Chase Cutting Kitchen. I'm CRJ making cooking fun and meaning it this time. Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, smash the like button. If you really liked the video, become a subscriber and hit the bell notification icon. I upload every Thursday. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter, Instagram, TikTok, and support me on Patreon. Oh wait, I should have told Santa to plug my Patreon in. Oh, he called from a private number.